Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Doors that open upwards have many different names like Lambo doors, butterfly doors, even vertical doors. Whatever you call them, there's no denying that they're one of the most attention getting mods you can do to a car. Today I'm going to answer the question how hard is it to install Lambo doors because I'm going to show you how we got these installed from start to finish coming up right now on Stuff with Steven. Alright, so we are going ahead and getting started. started with this. I got my dad helping me out here today. And um, so really when you put these kits on, essentially you're putting on a different door hinge and it goes behind your fenders. So what you got to do is take off your front bumper, take out your wheel wells. So we're going to take off the wheels to get to that. And that's going to allow us to get that fender off so that we can get in there and get the new hinges in. So uh, really, let's just go ahead and cut to doing all that. Okay, so I'm gonna try and keep y'all uh, apprised of what else is going on, but we're tag teaming this, so we're gonna be doing different stuff at the same time. But anyway, I'm taking off the door panels because you gotta take these off so that you can get in here and take out your door stop because you're not gonna have that once you put the new hinges on and it would be in the way. Um, and so really to take off the door on the Camaro, there's three screws around the edge. Then you got a screw behind the door handle, a screw under this little um, handle here. And once you pull those off, the whole thing literally just pops off. After I got the panel off, I got my nephew to help out by holding it in place so I could disconnect all the electrical connections as well as the door release. All right, the door panels are all uh, both off now. Uh, next thing we gotta do is take out the speaker so we can get this door stop out here then up here you can see my dad's got this uh wheel well out he's working on the other side now uh, it's just you got screws that go all the way around here and you have to take this out so that you can get the bumper and the fender off we got jade in here who decided to come help who, who, who are you today you, just, you dressed up for halloween some car, car kit you superman right now because you took off your your other clothes all right, Jay, you, you want to do some work now? Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to let you take this speaker out. You got to basically gotta keep on. You go this way, and you just keep on going, and the screw going to come out. Okay. All right, so you got it loose now, so you can twist it on out with your fingers. All right, we're going to put this over here in the cup holder. Use the outside, and you're gonna pull it pull it off. You gotta kind of pull from the top. All right, we got all the door panels off, the speakers out, the door stops disconnected, and the wheel wells out. Now we're getting ready to take off the bumper or the front bumper. Okay, we're gonna get the bumper off. All right, guys. I just can't. We're gonna get the bumpers off. I got the flashlight. After quite a bit of wrestling with the rocker panels, I was finally able to get the bottom fender screws out so that the fender could come off. Alright, we got all the fenders off. We made it to the point of going ahead and moving to actually try to get the kit installed. And So just to show you how the kit works, you basically got this big hinge here that replaces your factory hinge. It opens like that and then the door goes up and that's really the basis of all of it. With all the necessary body panels removed, we were finally able to get to installing the new door hinges. I went ahead and used painter's tape on both doors to keep them in place for the brief period in between taking off the factory hinges and getting the new ones on. The doors are heavy, but the tape was just strong enough to keep it from sliding so the door's weight could just rest in place within the door jamb. Because the vertical door kit is a direct bolt-on, all we had to do now is unbolt the factory hinges and replace them with the ones from the kit. They're very robust hinges and the holes lined up perfectly. We spent quite a while getting the door aligned so that it would open and close properly. From what I've read, this is the most important part of the installation, so we took our time. Once the door closed just like it did with the factory hinges, we installed the strut and that part was done. Okay guys, so we have uh, got both of the doors on. You might be able to see it in the background. I'm not sure, it's a little uh, pretty dark now. Um, and so this was a first for both me and my dad. And so 
uh, we kind of been focusing a bit on the project since my nephews left and uh, hadn't had too much time to do too much filming, but just been letting the camera run. And so I'm gonna walk you guys through um, everything that we've done so far and just show you, you know, how the doors work real quick. Here is the actual door hinge. And so right here where this is the shock. So that's what makes the door really easy to go up and down. And then just everything else is, you know, just uh, hinges for the door to art articulate in and out and up and down. And so you can see all the alignment marks that we made down here on the bottom. We were basically, after we put the new hinges on, we just had to make sure that those were correct. And as you can see, they are very, very, very close, actually spot on. Gap and everything looks pretty good. The other side might need more adjustments tomorrow, we will see. But the hinge is on, you can see the strut and everything in there. I've still got to go in and get the wire loom and everything um, completely um, readjusted because you do have to pull out extra wire on that for it to sit properly. Um, but the focus tomorrow is really going to be uh, test fitting the fenders and making sure that they uh, everything clears them correctly. If the doors will open and go up with those, then we should be ready to put this thing fully back together and see a finished product. The next morning, we dived right into getting this thing finished. In order for the new hinges to clear the fender, a few inches of sheet metal has to be cut on the fender lip. My dad tackled this job with a grinder. While my dad was finishing up the fenders, I went ahead and worked on getting the wire harness for each door extended so that there was enough slack when the door is all the way up. Thankfully there is enough extra wire behind the kick panels that all I really had to do is cut the rubber boot, slide it back a few inches and cover the exposed wire with loom electrical tape and a couple of zip ties to keep it all in place. With that done, it was finally time for us to go ahead and reassemble the car. So we have finished up everything. I'm gonna show y'all the car in a second, but special thanks to my dad for helping me get all this done because I could not have done it without him. Special thanks to Jay and then Ar Armando, who's not out here right now, but everybody helped get it done. So we're gonna go out here and get ready to have some food at the block party later, but I'm gonna show y'all the car right now. All right, Jay, you gonna help me show YouTube how the car works? All right, so I got my helper, Jay, in here. He's gonna show y'all how, how the doors work. All right, Jay, open it up. And so you see they still open normally and then it just slides up and so even you know my nephew Jane how old are you he's eight and Camaro doors are heavy but he can get them up just fine because that strut in there is pretty uh pretty strong all right now pull it back down let's show them how it closes and close it up and the other side works exactly the same so um Overall, it took about, if I had to say hour-wise, probably seven hours between yesterday and today. Instructions were not that great. That's why I say, again, you really need somebody who knows um, mechanical stuff that can, you know, help you do the metal work and all that fun stuff. But um, it's, it's not, I won't say it's a super difficult project, but you do want to set aside a full weekend to do it. And alignment is very important. I'll probably be tinkering with alignment over the coming months and everything. But right now, everything is working good. And so, um, yeah, I guess that's all for this video. Thanks, you guys, for tuning in. I will see you on the next one. Yeah, yeah.